Today we're going to look at some of the best mods available for GTA San Andreas, like an overhaul tuning system, tons of visual enhancements, a lively vibrant world, and some of the best graphic mods out there. Improved vehicle features might be my favorite GTSA mod ever. With this mod you can have reverse lights, turn signals, functional steering wheels, even the little police lights are transparent now. Let's take a look at some of my favorite features from this mod. The fact that there's turn signals and reverse lights means that the lights have to look actually visually different. My favorites for this change are the Elegy, Infernus, and the ZR350. The ZR350 looks easily 100,000 times better in my opinion, just look at this comparison. Also, turn signals do work with the AI, but it seems to work better with the next mod, which is Real Traffic Fix. Real Traffic Fix makes it so the traffic AI uses real faces that cars use, which in the normal game it's pretty obvious that they don't use this. It overall just makes them smarter, for example they slow down when there's humps, big vehicles like buses only hang in the rightmost lane, and there's much more varied speeds, so everything feels more natural. Now let's look at one of the most technically impressive mods out there. With Tuning Mod, you can add objects onto vehicles, whether that be guns, containers, really anything that's available in the game. The objects can even be attached to specific parts, so if you add a spoiler onto the trunk, it'll actually move with it. But not only that, you can customize anything about a vehicle, like suspension, brake power, headlight colors, you can even add turbo, which has sounds too. All this works on cars, planes, bikes, the possibilities are pretty endless with this. A quote from the author is, the limit is your creativity. You can also save and load your vehicles that you customize, it's real nice. This mod alongside improved vehicle features makes cars so much more in depth. Now let's look at some graphic mods. There's tons of graphic mods out there like DirectX 2.0, Freezen ZMB, MMGE2, and more, but right now I want to go over Renderhook. Renderhook is probably one of the most unique graphic mods out there. It's not an EMB or even a reshade, it actually changes how the game renders stuff. More specifically, it's a graphics pipeline and API replacer, whatever the fuck that means, but basically the game uses DirectX 11 and it's just a .ISI file, so it doesn't replace anything, yet it makes the game look like this. By pressing F12 in game, you can open up this little configuration menu. And this mod has so much customization with this that in the Renderhook Discord server itself, there's an entire channel dedicated to fan-made presets. And there's also an entire Google Doc for each setting. Now let's look at my favorite setup. We'll go over real skybucks and real linear graphics. Using these mods together results in realistic and accurate colors, as well as an absolutely stunning sky. Alongside that, I'm also using Sky Graphics, which lets you imitate the PS2, Xbox, or even mobile graphics of GTA San Andreas. But I'm using it here because it features some other things like bug fixes, for example, transparency with some objects such as trees. But I'm also using it because there's on screen blood and water effects, which those water effects work really well with the next mod. Effects mod is just crazy. It adds tons of effects into the game, like shoreline waves, for example. This effect is really cool. It's also seemingly effective by weather and time so it won't always happen there's also more cool ones like when you crash your vehicle into another it's a big puff of just random car shit it's really satisfying also there's better fire effects on the ground debris when you crash into random objects on the map like newspaper stands and there's also just some more general improvements but my absolutely favorite thing from this mod are these really cool water splash effects when you're driving a boat this is why i said the last mod works really well with this it's really cool looking now with that we're also using enhanced classic graphics and Project Studio effects. Enhanced classic graphics improves many of the textures for things in the game, like glass shattering, lights, and more, but it even gives variations for things like blood and footprints. But the top reason why I'm using it are these really cool atmospheric headlight effects during the nighttime. Now, with Project Studio effects, this mod adds these really pretty light effects all over the map during darker hours, but it also improves the draw distance of many objects like trees. Now let's look at some gameplay mods, more specifically mods related to movement. If you've ever found it annoying that you can't sprint with two-handed weapons, then story sprinting is a nice mod for you. It lets you sprint and even jump with the M4, Spaz, RPG, even the minigun. CJ sprinting with the minigun is absolutely badass by the way, it's all super fluid as well. It also adds a little animation when you're jogging with a one-handed weapon. Improved movement is a really nice mod to have alongside it. 
Headshot. It makes it so when you hold W, A, S, or D, besides jogging, you'll be walking. But if you tap the sprint key once, you'll start jogging. Then when you hold the sprint key, you'll be running. This mod also changes speeds and animation transitions so that they're slower, which in turn makes them feel more natural. We've also got a tiny mod which lets you run while you're throwing a grenade. It looks pretty ugly, but I prefer responsiveness over visuals. The world of San Andreas is pretty bland, so we're gonna quote unquote fix that. Now, pedestrians will actively call out taxis, buy food, get drunk, lean against walls, fish, use telescopes, and a tiny bit more than that. There's also less empty areas across the map, mostly for gangs to hide out in. We've also got some map additions, for example the beach is filled with benches and chops, even a nice little volleyball area. We've also now got a pretty lit church, and these airport radars. And now I want to talk about one of my favorite mods of all time, which is Original Pets Vary. This gives the original pedestrians of the game vanilla friendly variants, in fact there's multiple of those. So now it's rare-ish to see the same pedestrian twice. It's a really good mod, a must have for sure if you like the world to be more lively. There's also a version of it that has almost 4,000 variants. Now let's do a little speedrun section. In vanilla, when you jump out of a plane at high speeds, your character just removes any momentum before falling. It's pretty weird, but with plane inertia, this is fixed. Similar to that, gravity fix makes it so when you're falling from high heights, there's a buildup of momentum while you're falling. With hairstyles and beards, you can choose your beard and hair separately, which lets you have a more unique look to CJ. Animated tank adds tracks onto the tank and they move. The beard grow mod will let you grow out a full beard over the course of 4 in-game days. NBC tuning makes it so there's a random chance that the peds will spawn with a tuned up vehicle. It's pretty rare so it fits well into the game and it's balanced. And that's all we're going to look at today. If you want to learn how to actually install these mods, then you can go ahead and check out my GTA San Andreas modding guide series. You can also check my other mod showcases shown on screen now. And uh, yeah, bye.